Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off. By the um, wind idle thing. Wind control device on Flotsam Island. We're trying to figure out what to do next. Uh, and I've been talking to some of you guys in the comments below the previous episodes. And it seems that I've got the wrong end of the stick a little bit with this puzzle. Uh, what we've got to do is use this to find each of the senses to feed the sponge. So it's going to be things like sight, sound, touch, things like that. So I'm guessing the lion's paw is going to be for one of those. We've just got to figure out what to do with it. Um, so we've got to find... I think the first course says says something about... Um, what is it? Right, yeah, that's it. A garnish cloth grotesquely bright something to do with sight so we need something bright a cloth that's really bright for sight now I've got an idea now that I'm thinking about it I've got an idea and I've also got a bit of an idea for that red thing because at the moment we can't get there right but off camera I was sitting and thinking about it and it struck me that I was being really stupid with this puzzle um, in the sense that we can actually get to the red bit like that uh, not like that, sorry. Uh, like that. So we go through the idols and get to the red bit. And then I'm guessing what we can do is if we do that, we change the... Not that. That's the bottom one, isn't it? Um, if we do this, that will change the layout of the woods. So then I'm guessing we can get to question mark if we're already at red. That's my thinking anyway, so I'm going to try that out. Um, so let's get back to the idols. Right, yeah, so we've changed the layout of the forest a little bit. So I think I was approaching this slightly wrong. Um, I was being pretty stupid, to be honest, with the red thing. But I was a little bit tired last time I was playing, which is going to be my excuse. Uh, so we need to go down from here. I want to get to the red bit. I want to see what that question mark's about. And then once we've seen what the question mark's about, uh, I think we need to go this way, don't we? Then I'm thinking we go to where I believe we can solve that clue about the bright cloth, which I'm thinking, now that I've actually sort of properly read it and realised that it's something to do with sight, a bright cloth that we can see. That's weird. Uh, that's the wrong way. Uh, was it down from the purple one? Yeah, it was. So I'm thinking that the bright cloth might be Stan's coat. Because if you remember, when we were talking to Stan about his coat before, we asked if we could have it. And he said something about no, or he, he said not yet, or something class. like that. And why? Right, so now we're at the red bit. My theory is if we change the map, like so, then we should be able to get to question mark because we're already at red. So if we leave, we should hopefully get to question mark. Yes. Okay, so question mark is a chest. Some sort of chest. Um, is there anything else? No, nothing down here. Okay, locked chest. It's the mysterious chest of foreshadowing from the Voodoo Lady's shack. Ah! Oh. Oh. lurk in its locked timbers. Even more importantly, how am I going to unlock it to find out? Right, I bet we can use the hook, right? Because that seems to unlock literally everything. Let's see. What do I have now that I didn't have the last time I tried to open this chest? Ow! Stupid hook! Oh, it can't That's be the that answer. easy. It probably is. It opens everything else. Yeah, there we go. The Voodoo Lady's what is that? tarot cards? That's it? I bent the fabric of reality for a stupid fortune teller's trick? Sixth sense. Ah, okay. oh, that was tricky, That's wasn't a pretty it? Good trick. So I'm guessing we can feed that to the sponge. So can we combine it with the sponge? I think I need to do the first three courses of the feast before tackling the main course. Right, okay. There's nothing else here, right? It's been done. No, okay. So that was me being really stupid last time out. So now we should be able to turn the map back and that'll give us our way out oh, 
I was being really stupid, wasn't I? Just wasn't with it in the last episode. And also, you guys with your comments have helped me make a bit more sense of it. Uh, that's the wrong way, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so let's leave the woods. Or the jungle, I should say. Uh, is there a quick way of leaving the jungle? No. Uh, yes, actually there is. Square. Let's do that, get back to the jungle entrance. <clears throat> let's see if we can get Stan's coat, because I'm guessing that is going to be the bright coloured cloth that the menu's referring to. I don't really see what else it can be, to be honest. We haven't seen any other brightly coloured cloths other than that rug at the Voodoo Ladies, and it wasn't that. Um, we tried to use that, didn't we? But it didn't work. Um, yeah, the only thing I can think of is that it's going to be Stan's coat. So maybe now that we've got a bit of a clue, we can just ask him for it. Alright, Stan. Guybrush, old pal. Can I have your jacket? I knew it. I, I remember asking like before. Your eye -bending jacket. Give up my jacket. It'll be like Samson getting a buzz cutter, King Arthur losing Excalibur, or Bluebeard dying himself blonde. Huh? Without my jacket, my salesman Mojo would wither away faster than a hothouse orchid in a pizza oven. So that's a maybe? Come on, give me a jacket. Sure you don't want to sell me your people defying jacket? It's for a good cause. This jacket stays with Stan until it literally falls off my back, Three Bud. Right, yes, yeah, so we need to find a way of making it fall off his back. Um, can we just use the sponge on it? Stan, sponge. That's <coughs> probably won't work on anyone until it's been fed its feast for the senses. Right, so we need to get the coat. Can we, like, use anything on the coat? Or on Stan? I don't think that needs a stinky old lion's paw. No, okay. Uh, the sack of sugar? Nope. I'll try and maybe if we could like rip it or something. I don't think they'd appreciate being impaled on my hook. No. Uh, can we use that thing? All right, little fellas, check out these high def duds. Well, that's just great. The lamp's dead. The lamp's dead. Oh, they've gone up there. The sign is keeping the moths from returning to the jungle. Ah, they've gone up there now. Just when my opinion of the legal profession couldn't get any lower, along comes Stan. How do we get them back? So it's gone dead. That doesn't need to be illuminated. Can we? Huh? Why are they up there? I have really no get desire that. whatsoever to see Stan's living arrangements. And we can't... We literally can't do anything else. Um, also, I was told to talk to the voodoo lady another time, but I don't know if Hello, I actually did that. I can't remember. Uh, about this feast for the senses. Let's about ask a question. For the senses, what would you like to know? Tell me about the napkin again. Tell me about the napkin again. The feast must begin with a cloth of such stunning visual stimulation that the sponge will have no choice but to dine. I mean, I All can't right, believe I missed that until now. now. That is just really stupid of me, wasn't it? Um, right, so we need to get this off him. How are we going to get this Damn. off him? Guybrush, old pal. Uh, still trying to make a buck on my recently cleared name. Um, no. You've clipped those. Can I, Can do we I have any look cool at things? Lady and Lechuk Goo -Gaws? Can't keep your eyes off him, huh? Uh, did we ask How about the these? I can't coming? remember. How's this? Trial of the Century 2. Lechuk's Revenge. It's been done. <laughs> it's definitely been done. Um, the Lechuk Doll. Well, what's that one? That's our cursed cutlass of Kaflu, Lechuk Doll. Press the button for its special transforming <gasps> glow. Ah, is that going to lure the moths? What's happening? Uh, it's a little bright. Yeah, we're still working out a few kinks. Yes. Hey, now, what's this? Right, can we take that fun? somewhere? Ah! Hey, knock it off, you nutty nibblers! That, ah! That hurts! Oh, they're Sweet attacking him. Fancy! Ah! Moses! Ah! Ow! Ah! Ow! 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 
bitten by moths. Oh! Well, that was one heck of an experience, eh, Threepwood? It's a good thing old Stan always keeps a few spare jackets in the back office, or I'd be defending uh... my clients in the altogether. Say, that's not a bad idea. Stan S. Stan Man, naked attorney at law. Stan S. Stan Man. And neither does he. Um. No time to chat, Threepwood. I've got business cards to print. Oh, no. Okay, so we've got remains of Stan's yeah. jacket. So that was what we needed to do. What happened to all the uh, moths? I hope we don't need those again. Right, so do we just combine them? Yes! You know, when I dreamed of becoming a mighty pirate, I never imagined that one day I'd be tying eye-popping napkins around the non-existent necks of mystical sponges. It's like he's wearing a bandana. It's all dressed up and ready to eat. <laughs> this is really weird. Right, does it have the second course now? No, it doesn't. First course, put on a napkin that's a sight. A garish cloth, grotesquely bright. Uh, once completed in order, your wee bestie will grow to maturity. Substitutions encouraged. How do we find out the second course? Or do we just need to know the senses? Hey, Maybe you, the voodoo lady again. knows? Hello, Treepwood. Uh, about the about feast. feast for the senses. What would you like to know? The first course is a napkin. The first course in the feast for the senses. The napkin. What's up with that? The table must be set with an eye-catching napkin to entice the sponge's hunger. But we've done that. All right. What comes next? The feast for now. <coughs> um. else right so Try not to get I'm guessing we're just gonna have to figure out these senses ourselves so what have we got we've got to what are the senses we've got sound like sound or hearing we've got touch we've got taste we've done sight and then what are the others hmm Okay, we're going to have to think about this. What can we hear around here? What makes a sound? What have we seen that makes a sound on this island? Uh, sure, I don't know. Is there anything in here? Who go oh, it's you. Uh, can I go back in? Can I go back in? I think I left several useful items in there. Court is adjourned until the new defendants prepare their cases. Oh, okay. Um, bye then. Sorry, just taking a drink. Um, something about sound. What makes a sound around here? Is there anything in DeSange's lab? Or is he back in here now? There was some weird stuff going on, wasn't there? Looks like we can go in here anyway. What the... What happened to Morgan's body? She's gone! What the hell? Refreshing. Ah! Can we use that? Is that like a smell? La Sponja Grande is only good for soaking up voodoo. Like the pox. No. Okay. Um, do we have anything in here? Dead fireflies. Microscope. Shock pedal. Bookshelf. Got that weird auto whatever thing. Uh, what's on here again? Good. Oh yeah, the what do you call it? Do we have anything that makes a sound? Oh wait, we can do this, can't we? I think I need to do the first three courses of the feast before tackling the main course. So how do we find out the other courses? Unless it's these. These three and then these three. So we've done sight. So smell. And taste, is that? 
I better fold this up before I put it in my pocket. Smell and taste. What makes a smell around here? I haven't really seen him say anything about a smell. We might have to do a little bit of a circuit of the island. Well, this puzzle is really stumping me a little bit so far. Uh, got some fire here, the wow. grease puddle. That bacon grease is still burning. I don't suppose we can use that. La Sponja Grande is only good for no. soaking up voodoo, like the pox. I mean, there's nothing sort of. I hope this pretty whiskers likes all the iron I've added to her diet. Can we use it on the bowl of cat food? La Sponja Grande is only good for no. soaking up voodoo, like the pox. We need to find something that smells. I don't recall him saying anything about something smelling. Um, nothing there. It's not going to be Stan again, is it? What about Club 41? If I can't find anything here, it's got to be something out in the jungle. Uh, game, thank you. Uh, what's that? No longer red carpet. Huh. Just they decided to put the rug inside after it was clean. <laughs> um, Rose and Krebs is here. Buffet table. Ooh, what about the buffet table? Looks like Elaine and Morgan have made a dog's breakfast of your buffet. What? That mess? Oh, pasha, my boy! That's just the typical aftermath of our weekly ladies' night buffet table. <laughs> Our lady pirates yeah, may yeah, be easy so you on tell the me. eyes, but heaven help you if you get between them and our bottomless salad bowl. <laughs> Thanks. Fair enough. Um, can we use the sponge on it? Uh, sponge grande is only good for soaking up voodoo, like the pox. All right. Um, we've got the puddle of wax. That's not going to smell. What's? Oh, maybe this. I mean, it's kind of gross, but. Maybe this nasty puddle of crap on the floor. La Sponja Grande is only no. good for soaking up voodoo, like the pox. Man, let's talk to this guy. Hey, WP. Uh, anything else? Morgan's been murdered. Okay, um, let's do Morgan's been murdered. Morgan Lafay has been murdered by the Marquis de Singe. Oh my, that is troubling. She was well on her way to becoming one of me best customers. Weren't you gonna do something? Oh, I'm sorry, lad, but I preside over a pirate court, meeting out justice exclusively for pirate on pirate crimes. That doesn't sound <laughs> fair. This, this sounds like a case of mad kind of judge are you? on privateer violence. Uh, totally out of my jurisdiction, you see. Mm, pretty much the same there thing, ma'am. Maybe a court in the lower mandibles that handles such affairs, along with ninja and clown crimes, uh, but they only convene every second Thursday. It's annoying. Uh, I told you I was innocent. I told you I was innocent. Well, bully for you! Uh, meanwhile, we're still all poxed, there's a creepy voodoo priestess in my jail, and your wife's still threatening to sack our town. Truly, True. these are the best of times! <laughs> right, looks like Ladies' Night has finally come to an end. Looks like Ladies' Night has finally come to an end. I... I'm thinking about cancelling it in favour of something a wee bit safer. Like Ultimate Mumbly Pig Night or Amateur Tattoo Night. <laughs> what? Uh, fair enough, bye. Um, is there anything else that we can look at around here? Hmm. How about some more of those volcano shots? Sorry, uh, one per customer. No. Hey, WP. No, talk to WP. Um, what's this pepper? Is this always here? Fugu Jalokia. Seems pretty harmless. Are you pirate enough to take the Fugu Jalokia challenge? What do we have to do? Fugu Jalokia. Seems pretty harmless. It's a pepper. Do we have to speak to him? Hey, WP. Uh, yeah, tell me about this Fugu Jalokia challenge. Tell me about this Fugu Jalokia challenge. Ah, 
A connoisseur of peculiar culinary delights, are we? No, I'm just wondering what the hell it is. Um, yes? Then you surely have heard of the Fugu Jalokia, the hottest pepper in this world or the next. Ah. Oh, that Fugu Jalokia. I wonder I if that's the taste. That specimen of the Fugu pepper many years ago from a three-legged bandit named Ort. Winning it from him when I was able to place me tongue on the pepper for ten entire seconds. I wonder if we have to put the sponge on it. Since that tongue destroying day, I vowed to pass on the pepper to the first pirate who can successfully put his tongue on the Fugu Jalokia for eleven seconds. Eleven seconds, eh? Well, move over. WP because Guybrush Threepwood Mighty Pirate is about to put the sponge on here. I think I need to do the first two courses of the feast before tackling the third course. Oh. Do we? Okay, Pepper, prepare to meet your master. Okay, we can do it. <laughs> okay, mental note. The Fugu Jolokia is hot to the touch, too. Hmm, I wonder if there's something special we've got to do. To be ah. Didn't that device thing in um Ouch. What the hell? What was that? I got electrocuted or something. I wonder if um back when we used this little helmet thing in the Sanchez, didn't it make our tongue go all funny? I'm thinking maybe if we use that and make our tongue go funny, we might be able to do that pepper thing. Let's see. Uh, it was this, wasn't it? Auto trepanation helmet. I'm sure it made his tongue go all funny. Uh, which button was it? Ow! What is it? My tongue! Yeah, that's it, right. I bet we have to do that and go back. Okay, yeah, his tongue is still numb, so let's run. I bet this is what we got to do. I knew there was a reason I remember things like this. Never th don't pay attention to little things in games, even the comedic things, because chances are you're actually going to need them. Especially in Monkey Island. I mean, we don't know this is actually going to work, but <laughs> if it does, then I knew it. Captain Threepwood, what can I do you for? Uh, I would like to take on the challenge. What's that? <laughs> you want to take the Fugu Jalokia challenge? Yes. Why didn't you say so? Have at it, Captain. Right, I wonder if this will work now. Uh, pepper. God, did, God, blah, no way am I picking up that pepper with my bare hands again. Ah, do we have to... Do we have to use this hand? I don't think that needs a stinky old lion's paw. I wonder if it wore off or something. Possibly, let's try it again. Why does it keep getting zapped? I'm not sure what's going on with that. Right, let's go back. It seems like it wore off right as I was about to do it. So let's go back and try it again. Also got that molten glass there. That could perhaps be something. Maybe that's like touch or something. We definitely seem to be on the right track with this. Let's do the numbing thing again. Ow. What is it? My tongue. Right, that's worked. Now let's get back again to the bar. We'll see if that'll work. Ah, uh, we're stuck. Okay, let's hurry up because we don't want to run out of time. Seems like we've run out of time. Ah, oh, got stuck again. So we've got to run out of time straight away, just as we were about to do it. So hopefully, 
get there a bit quicker this time and not run out of time. Uh, how do we get in? It's so dark. Right, uh, is the thing still open? Yeah, it is. Right. Pepper. God, this, that, blah. No way am I picking up that pepper with my bare hands again. What? Okay, we've got to find some gloves or something, obviously. Uh, it's, unless we've got to use the hook on it. Ah, now that's using your mighty pirate brain, Threepwood. Right. Okay, we've got to pick it out with the hook. I get it. Okay. I've figured it out. The hook comes in handy once again, it turns out. Let's do this then. We'll quickly do this and then we'll call it a day for this episode. Because I'm guessing this is what we've got to do. So let's get back again. Jeez, it's taking us a while to figure out these senses, isn't it? I guess that's the beauty of doing a blind playthrough though. Sometimes you do get completely stuck. And it takes a long old time to figure it out. But never mind. <coughs> I hope you guys like seeing me struggle because I am struggling with this one a little bit. Uh, right. I wonder what did happen to Morgan's body. It's kind of weird that it just disappeared. Ow! What? My thumb! Right, let's get back again. So, we've numbed his tongue. So what we need to do next time then, I'm guessing, is click with the hook first. Pick it up and then he'll do it. At least I'm hoping he will. So let's sprint back. We don't want to run out of numbness or whatever. I don't even know if he can. It must be that we were doing it wrong and that's why he was losing the numbness. But we don't want to take any risks, do we? Anyway, we've got it quicker this time, it turns out. In we go. I'm not sure what that getting zapped thing is about still. Um, really? Come on, man. Captain Let me try it again. What can I, do you for? I want to take on the challenge, please. What's that? You want to take the Fugu Jalokia challenge? Yes. Why didn't you say so? Have at it, Captain. I will. Right. Let's use the... A uh, hook on the pepper. Okay, his tongue's still numb. I think we've figured it out. Fingers crossed. Well, bust my balustrades. We did it. Well done, Captain Threepwood. You've conquered the Fugu Jalokia and have won the right to keep it as your own. Yay! Oh, clean living in a healthy co. Oh. <laughs> I probably got permanent colossal damage, but it was totally worth it to get my hook on that pepper. Yeah, so now can we combine the sponge with the pepper? I think I need to do the first two courses of the feast before tackling the third course. Oh, so we've got to figure out the smell first. Okay then, we'll leave it there. Um, a relatively productive episode. We've got some bits done, but there's still plenty more to go. Uh, but that's it for this one, guys. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.